Greetings. This is a uh, quick tutorial or screencast on Edubuntu and Kbrook. Uh, it's a math. This is also a plea for math teachers to help in terms of helping us uh, create more screencasts of how <coughs> parents and students can make more of Kbrook. As uh, you'll see in this tutorial, there's quite a bit to do with this application. So let's go, to, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> use Demo Studio. I'm using Demo Studio, in fact, right now to record this. I've already started my VNC session. You can see I'm now looking at a slightly different interface. In fact, I'm looking at my Linux uh, application right now. This is Edge Ubuntu. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, places, desktop, I'll show you the desktop. We'll go back out to the desktop. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Let's close this. Alt F4 should work, and it does. If I click here, Alt F4, it works. All right, so this is Edge Ubuntu. Right there, you can see at the bottom, got a number of terminals running very similar to the type of thing that you would see with Windows. Um, run, it works very similar in Edge Ubuntu. This is the GNOME interface. I don't want to go too far into all the niftiness on this interface because I want to talk to you about the applications in the education section. Kbrook, uh, K-B-R-U-C-H. <clears throat> we should be able to start it through the terminal, but we also have it right here through education. Let's go ahead and start it through the terminal just for giggles. It's nice to know how to use a terminal. So let's uh, control shift plus so that you can read it. Control shift plus. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see if I can get it to. Uh, oh, let's clear the screen. C L E A R. C L E A R. There it is. Type clear like that, and it clears your screen. Control Shift Plus again, so you can read it. Let's type Kbrook. All right. Let's see if it's over there. It's not. So Kbrook, which is available in the applications, is not available here in the interface. It's an oversight. Let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. Kbrook, there it is. Uh, let's make this the largest. Now, fraction task. Uh, unfortunately, because I'm filming at 800 by 600 and my Edge Ubuntu screen is 800 by 600, we're uh, a little bit off in terms of being able to read it. So, uh, Let's see, tasks taken so far. Oh, so this is, you have to solve the given task with fractions. Now let's see how, how is it going to make it, how is it going to help us do that? Uh, you have to solve, well let's put a bad number here. Let's see what happens. Well, I just submitted something. I hit the enter key. Okay, check task. Uh, okay. I'm not quite sure what it does here. Let's reset that. So, I reset it. Doesn't like that. I can't. All right, so we'll try a new task. All right, so uh, I know that I need to make my come my denominators the same. That much I do know. So I'll make this one uh, sixteen over eight minus. Well, that's not going to do that either. Let's see, check task. 
Hmm. Well, that's, uh, let's see if conversion or the comparison works. The fraction test doesn't seem to be very intuitive in terms of helping, uh, or at least giving examples of how to solve the problem in terms of what the computer wants, uh, in terms of working it out step by step. So, we'll try the comparison. Comparison should be pretty easy. Okay, which one is larger? Um, okay, that should work. Yay, got it right. Okay, and next task. Which one's larger? Well, that one's easy. Yay, okay, that one works. Now let's go to conversion. In this exercise, you have to convert a number into a fraction. Okay, so... How about this? One, four, two, eight, five, seven, over one, zero, 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 zero. Let's see if that works. No. Oh. Zero. Check task. Wrong. Okay, it doesn't tell me that it wanted me to reduce it. Um, so, let's try the next one. What is the uh, fact factorization? Okay, um, 12 equals what? Give me some help here. Then you have to factorize a given number. Uh, we'll try that. Remove last factor. Well, let's just see what it does. Oh, two times two times three. Okay, I know what it means now. So, um, two times. Oh, great, that doesn't work. Let's try that. Two. Well, okay. Two times five. Oh, all right, there it is. Okay, that's ten times five. That should do it. Check task. Yay! I got it right. All right. So that's factorization. Um, the interface is a little vague on what it wants from the user, but that's okay. Three times seven. That should work. Correct. So we have some factorization. So I'm liking the comparison and the factorization. The fractions, this doesn't make much sense to me without some sort of interim steps. Uh, this is going to be difficult for users unless they're doing it all in their heads. I don't see that happening. So that's Kbrook. Um, it's free. Uh, free doesn't always mean that it's good, but it does have some uses. Uh, I hope it helps some people out there. The uh, Again, for the math teachers, uh, it's easy enough to do the same thing using Demo Studio on your XP box and VNCing into your Ubuntu machine. My name is Dennis Daniels. Thank you for watching and um, happy computing.